Hey, hi, hello, friendos. So, first things first, I put filming this off for so long. <laughs> Hence, it looks really dark in here, so I might have to scrap this whole thing, but we'll see. Stay tuned. Um, so the reason I put it off is for the past, like, couple of weeks. It's summer, and I'm only taking one class on campus for, um, summer B session at school, so I haven't been wearing makeup at all, like, during the day, and I'm not comfortable, like, filming myself without makeup, so I haven't, like, wanted to put on makeup and, like, record a video. So, it took me forever to, like, be like, okay, Lauren, get up, out of bed, put on makeup, and record this vlog. Um, second thing is... I got cactus lights and I don't know how they're gonna look on film and I don't know how they're gonna look behind me or if they even look good there I used to have them over there but you can't see them in the video and I love cacti so I really wanted them in the background of my videos and third thing I actually don't really know what this vlog is gonna be about <laughs> um I have a lot of things that I want to talk about in general and I'm kind of just gonna word vomit them out at a camera and see if anything is usable for my channel also, it's been ages since I've done this kind of video and I kind of miss doing them and I've been like completely not doing this type of video on my channel for like a month or more. It's been like travel vlogs and gaming content, so it was time for a vlog. Also, it's raining outside, well it's not raining but it's like thundering, so if you can hear that, first of all, awesome, the sound of thunder is so cool, secondly, Sorry if it's weird in the background, it's cloudy, I put this off for too long, the lighting's terrible, but I'm doing it anyway because I put on makeup. <laughs> nice! I really hope that picks up in the audio. Um, I need to find my journal because I wrote down stuff that I wanted to talk about and I don't think it's on my phone. <laughs> this is also probably going to be a little bit repetitive because I kind of keep having this revelation and I don't realize it until someone tells me like, hey, maybe that's a thing. Cause that's basically what happened. Okay, so um, here's the thing. As you all well know, I am prone to anxiety <laughs> and um, I only have a year and a half left of schooling left. So basically on, oh, let's, let's throw it back. Last week, um, the summer bee started and um, I'm like I'm taking math and econ. Econ's online, math is on campus. And um I don't have a job currently. Like I have one, but it, I haven't been doing it during the summer because the place I work at is getting renovated. So, um all of summer A session, I didn't have a job and like I need a job because I need money. <laughs> and um so that was kind of like anxiety inducing and then this summer at the end of summer A, my manager called me and she was like, we might need you to work. Could you work summer B? And I was like, um, heck yeah, I need those months. And, um, she was like, okay, well, I'll call you with more hours in the future. She didn't specify when. And I was like, okay, well, I'll just wait, you know, like, I don't need to find another job. Like, I technically already have one. That's super helpful. And, um, so flash forward summer B last week, my dad was like, hey, has your manager talked to you about your job? And I was like, no. And he's like, you should probably call her. Phone calls terrify me. <laughs> so I put it off for a really long time. Um, and that was giving me anxiety. Like, one, that I had to do it. And two, the action of doing it. And three, the fact that I was putting it off. So um, I went to therapy on Wednesday. And Wednesday was a bad anxiety day for me because I was kind of just thinking about all of this stuff. And this is last Wednesday. Um, and I went to therapy and it was amazing. I immediately tweeted about it on my personal and my fan or er, fan Twitter. And I was like, therapy is amazing. If you have the opportunity to go to therapy, you totally should because it really, really helps. It almost always really, really helps me. There's only been a couple of times where going to therapy has actually given me more anxiety, <laughs> but that's just a personal thing. And that's like rare. For the most part, going to therapy makes me feel so much better. So one thing that I want to impress upon my audience is if you have an opportunity, I know it's expensive, but sometimes like if you're in a college student, it can be free. If you have any kind of opportunity to go to therapy, regardless of you, if you don't think your problems are bad enough or whatever, because I was totally there, go. It is amazingly helpful. And I know it doesn't help everyone, but it, it can just really help to just talk about things. 
I love the thunder, but I'm scared it's like gonna interrupt me, but it's fine. I'm excited about it. I love thunder. This is why I like, this is the only reason I like summer, because every day during the summer we get thunderstorms, and that's amazing. Um, okay, so Wednesday, I was super anxious, went to therapy, felt amazingly better, was in a great mood for the rest of the day. Still had underlying anxiety because, like I said, I hadn't actually tackled any of my problems, but therapy made me feel better about it and kind of turned that nervous energy into better energy, which is just, it's good. So, um, skip the weekend, it's the weekend before 4th of July, and, um, as... I am prone to do. I wasted my weekend. I didn't do anything productive, but I had a nice relaxing weekend. Um, but then come Monday, I was really stressed again because I knew that there were a lot of things that I needed to do. So Monday was a really bad anxiety day for me. I went to class, but I didn't pay attention at all. I came home and I laid in bed and couldn't do anything productive at all whatsoever because I was really anxious about everything. And when I get anxious, it kind of, especially like really bad, it forces me to like not do anything because I'm afraid of doing stuff and I'm afraid of not doing things so I just end up not doing things which is really <laughs> counterproductive but it's just how I deal with my anxiety when I mean, it's not dealing with it it's just kind of existing in it which is just not fun but so bad anxiety day Tuesday we had school off because it was 4th of July and then come Wednesday I woke up <sighs> I woke up really motivated and I was gonna do stuff. I was really proud of myself and like I felt pretty good and I was like amping myself up to like get the stuff done that I needed to get done. And then all of a sudden I crashed and burned. And for the rest of that day I was really anxious again and really bad off and I didn't want to talk to people and I closed myself off in my room and I went to class but I didn't pay attention, etc. etc. Basically a repeat of Wednesday. But then I went to therapy. <laughs> And again, therapy really, really helped. But this time, therapy helped me even more. Because as me and my therapist were talking, um, I kind of realized something about myself that I don't know why I haven't realized before. But I wrote it down, and um, I'm just going to read it out to you guys. So I was talking to my therapist about my fears and my doubts and all that kind of stuff. And then I start talking about the things that I'm really passionate about. and. Um, one of those things is my YouTube channel, and I realized that even if I don't succeed at this, I'm really, really passionate about it, and I really care about it, and it's something that I value putting my time and effort into, even if nothing comes out of it. I feel like I'm making an impact, and I really see myself going somewhere with it, and I'm really passionate about creating content for the internet, and I feel like this is a cool way to do that, etc, etc. That's what I wrote down. I think it was like, hold on. 5.08 p.m. on the day after 4th of July um, and I did that I write on my phone when I don't have this so then the day after that I wrote yeah so July 6th I went to math class and um, before we started doing anything I wrote in my journal and I hadn't written in my journal in a while or like I hadn't gone in depth in my journal so the last entry I had was June 12th and then I had one on July 5th but I didn't that was when I was anxious so it wasn't I didn't write a lot I just kind of wrote hey I'm really anxious so then July 6th I wrote a lot <laughs> because I really wanted to like catch my journal up on like what's been going on in my life and one of the things that I wrote down so once again my therapist really helped me she helped me realize my new passion and I wrote down it isn't really writing. I'm still really passionate about writing, but I've kind of put writing things on the back burner. And I don't know if it's because it's summer and I don't have to write for my classes, or if I'm just not really motivated to write for myself lately, like um, novels and stories and that kind of stuff I haven't really had any motivation for. Um, I've really been putting my passion and my energy into other projects. Um, so I wrote down it's YouTube and internet content and like the media. And that kind of scares me because I know YouTube is looked down on a lot, but I really care about it. I think it's awesome and I want to find out more about it. And my dad always says that what your passion, that's what your passion is, is like what you like sit down and like in your free time you research more about it. And with YouTube and computers and like, I don't know, just like, I pour a lot of energy and I consume a lot of media that has to do with internet content, whether it's 
people making things on YouTube or people making things on Twitter and Instagram or anything like that, I've just, I've been putting and investing a lot of time in and it just started raining. <laughs> um, so here's hoping I can do something with it. Ideally, I'd want to work with a bunch of people and create uplifting content about faith, mental health, and finding yourself and stuff because I really care about that and I'd want it to be diverse and cool and have guests talk about their lives and stuff and share their story and uplift others because YouTubers inspire and motivate me and it'd be cool to do that for other people as well. So basically, <laughs> I just kind of recently had a revelation and I think it was like a long time coming and I think I knew that kind of but I didn't realize it that what I'm doing right now is valid and it's, it's something worth putting your time into and even though I constantly beat myself up about not doing things for like journalism or writing or like keeping up with my written blog or that kind of stuff, I have kept up with my YouTube channel and I have been making things that I really like and I think showcases my skills. It's just skills that I didn't think that I had. And when I was talking to my therapist about this, she was like, anytime you talk about that kind of stuff, like, you light up, you get so excited about it. And when you talk about things relating to, like, the J school and, like, having to go talk to people and interview people and all of that kind of stuff, you're terrified of it. And I'm like, well, you're not wrong. <laughs> so, like, I'm just, I'm excited about this kind of stuff and I'm excited about, like, <sighs> the one class that I took during spring that was, like, all about, like, Adobe Creative Suite and, like, and like graphic design and all of that kind of stuff like that's what makes me excited that's what I really like doing and that's what I like learning more about too like I love learning more about video editing and like graphic design and like topography and like weird stuff like that and like video games and just like media and content and like that kind of stuff content is so vague and so is media but I just like things that people make you know like that's what I've really been enjoying doing lately and I guess it's because I didn't ever see myself doing that. Now I really do. Like BuzzFeed and um, uh, like John and Hank, um, the Vlogbrothers content and just, just that kind of stuff and Rhett and Link and the YouTubers that I watch every day. Like that stuff is what I like and that's what I want to do too. So surprise the stuff that I'm literally currently pouring my energy into is surprisingly something that maybe I should consider making my goal you know so I mean it's a surprise to me for some reason I guess because I like had a path well I guess it shouldn't be because when I was a kid my path was to be a pediatrician and I was like oh I'm gonna be in school for 11 years and like do all of that kind of stuff and then I came to school and I started doing journalism and realized that writing and creative stuff was more my speed rather than biology and math and now that I'm in school it's like multimedia and like video and art almost and writing stuff or coming up with improv stuff is more what I'm into rather than news writing and it, it shouldn't be a surprise because all of the classes that I've taken so far that I've liked the most have been about that kind of stuff. I don't, I mean it's just, it's cool to realize that and it, I, I guess I just needed it pointed out by someone for me to realize that like that's, that's my thing. So I guess this is just an update but also kind of don't be afraid to try a bunch of different things to find what you love. And don't be surprised if it's not what you thought it would be, I guess. Or do be surprised but embrace it anyways, you know? So I'm excited about my future. I'm terrified of it all the time. All the time, every day. But I think that if I kind of gear my interests towards what I've recently discovered to be fascinating to me, I will have a better go of it. And I will stop being so afraid of branching out of my comfort zone because I'm branching out of my comfort zone and going after something that I really, really care about. 
rather than like kind of muddling through and trying to survive that one thing to get to a different thing. So I don't know how I'm going to be able because I, I don't think I'm going to change my major or anything. I really need to go talk to my advisor because <laughs> I want to figure out how I can gear what I'm doing now to benefit me in the future. So that's my update. I hope you guys are all having a fantastic summer. I'm going to go enjoy the thunderstorm. But thank you, as always, so much for watching. If you like what you see and you want to see what I get up to in the future, tap that like button, tap that subscribe button, tap the bell button, smash them all, and I'll see you guys in the next video. <laughs> Bye!